everybody, my name is Chris Shalong, it's the Bob Bob of Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update. This is on some site plans and permits that are for us, uh, one of the other specific areas at Universal's Epic Universe Theme Park. This is set to open in 2023, and we have already done videos for the How to Train Your Dragon area. Uh, and of course now it is the turn of classic monsters, Universal's classic monsters. Somebody actually commented on that vi on, the, on the other site plan video and said, well, let's have the Nintendo one. So that will be released as well over the next few days. Uh, so we've got all the areas so far. Of course that just leaves the, uh, the hub area, the hotels area, the Fantastic Beast, which I believe, if I remember from the article from Orlando Park Stop, big shout out to them, I think that one might be next. I'm not too sure exactly. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but uh, it should be exciting to see what else is going to come. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for more site plan videos. And obviously we're going to have more videos. We're also uh, going to be setting up a playlist. Uh, it should be on by the time this video gets up. Um, but we're actually going to put up a playlist for all the Universal's Epic Universe videos. So it will be a full playlist dedicated to Universal's Epic Universe. So, hope you guys are really excited for that. And let's get into this video. So, this is all about Universal's classic monsters area. So there's a very specific attraction that looks to be involved with this area of the park, uh, as well as some other stuff as well, which is gonna be very nice to describe indeed. So all the information uh, and the, uh, the permit plan and the labeled plan, they're all, um, you know, they're all, shout out to Orlando Park Stop for all of them. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going to be putting on the uh, the permit plan, so it's got all the B15, you know, numbered, you know, sort of sites. Uh, and I'm going to sort of explain, you know, the different elements of this specific themed area, like I did with the other ones. Uh, we're also going to have like a labelled image, again, big shout out to Orlando Park Stop, full credit goes to them for this image. Um, they do massive stuff on this, so big shout out to them, they're brilliant. Uh, and let's have a look, so let's, let's dive deeper into all of this. So, let's look on your screen now, find Abby Dorsey at the labelled uh, image first of all, uh, just to sort of give you guys an idea of what's set to be coming. So, this area, Classic Monsters, if you need a bit of background information, uh, includes iconic characters from horror films from the company produced from the 1930s through to the 1950s, including Frankenstein, Dracula, Wolfman, the Mummy, and the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, now, of course, permits for Super Nintendo World and House Training Dragon have already been revealed. Like I said, we've done a video on House Training Dragon. A video on Super Nintendo World will be coming along in the next few days. Let's go over to the plans then to see what classic monsters will be bringing in. Uh, so. The proposed layout for Classic Monsters Land is already on your screen, as you can already see. Uh, now, this land will be located in the northwest corner of the park, just to the left of the hotel expected to position at the back. Uh, the permits, which we're going to put, um, we're going to put on later. Uh, this is just the labelled um, sort of image. This is just where we're going to label sort of everything. So the site uh, appears to contain two main attractions, as well as small structures for dining shopping and perhaps some small entertainment or meet and greets um, and on the very left of the image um, and the expansion uh, uh, the expansion plot known as phase two um, we can see some of the lanes for the Kirkman Road expansion which will connect the existing resort to the new theme park so let's have a look then at uh, specifics um, so let's put on the actual permit plan on your screen now. Find up So you can see the whole area in planning mode. You can also see like the Kurt Road expansion, the phase two kind of thing. So you can see where this is all going. So it's rumored that the land will be themed around Frankenstein's village with Frankenstein's castle looming in the background. What appears to be the windmill from the original film's climax can also be seen uh, in the previous image, the concept art, if you want to skip back and see that. And the corresponding structure for this is also found in the plans already on your screen. So let's have a look before we get into the room of attractions, the smaller structures, because this is what's good about this area is the specific smaller structures as well as the big structures and the big attractions uh, that are a big factor in this area. 
so back, uh, so back a house restaurant support can be found behind B1510. So if you look on your your plan map on your screen already, uh, look behind that. Uh, located between the land's entrance and the main attraction. Labels for things like a walk-in freezer, food waste collection, oil traps and more can be seen at the back of the structure, which likely means it will be some type of dining establishment. <clears throat> Details for the structures in the centre of the land are scarce, but it's possible that these could be shops themed as the village square. It's also possible that small walk-through attractions, interactive experiences or even meet and greets of some sort could be scattered throughout the area as well. The official concept uh, appears to show what could be village shops, alleys and trees throughout the centre of the land. And looking at the bottom left of the site plans, B1540, let's have a look there, seems to line up with what many have speculated to be the windmill as seen in the classic Frankenstein film. The structure appears to be split into several sections with defined entrance and exit paths. While there have been rumours for some type of walkthrough attraction for this land, I wonder if this structure could house an elaborate meet and greet where we walk through multiple areas to get a chance to have our photo taken with Frankenstein's monster at the end. To the right of the structure is B1530, so have a look on your screen. One of two possible attractions. Now this structure could be a theatre of some sort. Um, we can't tell exactly from the plans where it would be an outdoor amphitheatre, an indoor theatre, if it's even a theatre at all. But what we can see is some sort of entrance courtyard area, similar to what you might find at Universal Orlando. This area does not appear to be set up as a ride entrance with standby and express queues like we can see from the other main attraction in the land. The courtyard for this possible theatre features a coral area that will keep guests in the area before showtime and a separate path out of the structure on the right. Both areas seem to, sort, uh, seem to include theming of some sort which might be the themed tower or rounded roof seen to the right. Stairs placed on the outside of the structure tell us it's at very least more than one storey tall. Some have speculated that the land could see some type of stunt show, perhaps similar to Waterworld at Universal Parks around the world, while others are hoping for the return of Beetlejuice's Graveyard Review, which closed permanently at Universal Studios Florida, along with uh, Disaster Studios, uh, a Mason Motor Picture starring you, ready for the construction to start on Fast and Furious Supercharged. Now, this structure appears to be larger than the former Beetlejuice Show Theatre, but also smaller than a venue needed for Waterworld. Uh, so hopefully we get to learn more about the mystery structure and as additional permits are filed or after construction begins. The main attraction will reportedly see guests enter through Frankenstein's castle located at the back of the land. If we look closely at the site plan, it appears to be a couple of paths leading into what might be a castle facade for the attraction. These paths may be an incline rising towards the castle. Uh, with the castle set higher than the rest of the land, it could be visible rising above the treetops and roof line when standing on the other side of the village. It's hard to tell from these plans. Uh, it's, it's also possible that it may be a water feature resembling a moat beneath the pathways in the castle. This possible moat would then continue down the south side of the structure and down towards the structure we believe to be the windmill. And if this is the water feature, it could very well play into what type of attraction is built on that expansion plot along the west side of the land. The main attraction is rumoured to be a high-tech dart ride that would feature all or most of the Universal Classic Monsters. It's been rumoured for a while, and this is interesting here, and I'm going to put some screenshots on your screen when I talk about this. It's been rumoured for a while that this ride would use KUKA arm technology, similar to the ride system for Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. However, this ride may utilise the newest version of the technology known as the G3 Robo Coaster on your screen now. I found over doors, so there's a couple of images for it. Unlike the G2 Robocoaster used at rides like Forbidden Journey, the G3 runs on actual coaster track. This means it's not restricted to only run on one level, but can instead climb inclines and even drop back down by moving around on track that is set up in three dimensions instead of only two like previous attractions. You can increase the thrill level as well as creating a more interesting ride path for your attraction. So that, my friends, is all the details on classic monsters. So you've got the small structures like the dining, the shops, the possible walkthroughs or meet and greets. And then you've got the two main attractions, some kind of theatre show, either outdoor or indoor. And of course, the main Frankenstein's castle type dart ride, uh, which is rumoured to be this Robo Coaster. This G3 model by the Kuka Arm uh, sort of you know manufacturers. You know what? I think this is going to be a fantastic... 
all the areas in this park are going to be absolutely fantastic. Again, massive shout out goes to Orlando Park Stop for all the information uh, and the images used in this video. Um, you know, they do, like I said before, I'm going to say it again, they do fantastic work. So, any more site plans that come out, I'll be sure to, to report on them. Like I said, the Super Nintendo one will be out in a few days' time. Um, How to Train Your Dragons is already out, so make sure you go check that out. That'll all be in uh, one playlist uh, very soon. Uh, so, as soon as we get into the construction process, there'll be more videos on Epic Universe as well. But, overall then, on the Classic Monster area, I'm really excited about this. I think that uh, the addition of like a possible... Obviously, it's not confirmed yet. This is all you know, speculation and rumours from... Uh, the site plans or just rumours in general and speculation in general um, but with the idea that we could be getting a robo coaster theme to Frankenstein's ca uh, sort of the classic monsters and set in Frankenstein's castle uh, at the back of the area I think it's a very I think it's very symbolic that it's back of the area because uh, you're sort of walking through this village or what looks to be this like Frankenstein village and you're sort of walking and you see the castle and you know you're about to go into this high tech attraction uh, so Hopefully the show, uh, the what looks to be the theatre space, which is the second attraction, hopefully that's going to be uh, a decent theatre space as well. Uh, I know many people want to see Beetlejuice come back after the whole Disaster Studios and Beetlejuice theatre getting demolished for Fast and Furious. Rumoured to be one of, if not arguably the biggest flop attraction in the world. Uh, many people don't like that attraction, so I'll have to try and go out to Universal and experience, my, experience it myself sometime. Uh, see how much of a flop it really is. But, overall, I think this Classic Monsters area is going to be fantastic. The Frankenstein's Castle attraction, the Classic Monsters Dark Ride, that's obviously going to be my favourite. In terms of shows, the theatre space is going to be fantastic. Imagine if it isn't, imagine if it's a combination of Waterworld and Beetlejuice. Or, it may be, you know, something completely different. It could be a stunt show, like it's been rumoured to be. So, you know, I think that... Whether it's a stunt show or it's like a revamp of Beetlejuice's show from the original Florida Park or a different show, I think the theatre space is going to be brilliant. I think it's too small to be Waterworld and maybe too big to be Beetlejuice. So I'm thinking it's going to be either a custom stunt show or it'll be a new show from scratch. Uh, so uh, fans of Beetlejuice, I wouldn't get your hopes up too much for a possible return. However, I'd keep your fingers very, very crossed if I were you. You never know. If it's a bigger space than Beetlejuice, the original one, maybe we could see a bigger and better version of Beetlejuice. You never know. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this theme park news update, this massive news update from the classic monster site plans uh, from Universal's Epic Universe. Like I said, we've got Fantastic Beasts and the Hub area coming up as well, so still got them to review and have a look at. Um, big videos coming up in the next month. Uh, we've got the early 2021 prediction videos for Six Flags, Cedar Fair and Millen Entertainment. Usually that's just my guess on what they should be adding. And of course you've got our mid-season predictions, which is where we start to see some stuff happening. Um, uh, like more stuff happening and sort of get more of an idea. And then of course the final 2020 predictions. So any parks that haven't done anything, we sort of you know guess what they could be adding. But any construction that seems to be happening, of course, we'll make our guesses as soon as possible. So, um, you know, the early 2020 predictions, they'll be coming out at the end of the month. So stay tuned for all of them. Uh, we're going to have a full uh, sort of... Because because the video schedule now, obviously you might not have seen it, but our video schedule is new videos on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday could be pre-recorded reviews or anything else. So at the end of February... One of those weeks where it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday video schedule will be the early prediction video. So it's a good schedule to have. Uh, and then, of course, we're back to the usual content at the weekend. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news update. My name is Chris Chell, Kill on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.